Hi there, I'm Mark from Sutherland Presses. We're here at the Atlanta Metal Forum Fabtech Show in 2014. We've got five presses on display here. And what I want to show you here is our line of Mark II series double point wide bed gap frames. The machine you see here is a Mark II 121, 121 ton, two point press, wide bed, open type frame for coil processing or large sheet feeding. Uh, what's unique about the Sutherland presses, they have six, six point gibs, square type gibs. The connecting rods are counter rotating, so it delivers the tonnage towards the center of the die area. The machines have three knockouts in the slide that can be set via the adjustment brackets on the back side of the slide. Digital die height indicator with motorized control. The machine comes standard with the Sutherland eye press control, which has programmable cams, die protection circuits, batch counters, fault counters, and a complete set of fault monitoring screens that show in chronological order the most recent faults and the time and date that that happened. On the left side of the press, you've got the main gear bath sight indicator. You've got a flywheel bearing grease lubrication system. You've got two pneumatic outlets with quick disconnects and one pneumatic outlet which is tied to the cam in the eye press control for air blowout or part ejection. Also here on the left side is the automatic grease lubrication system which is made by IHI in Japan. And this grease lubrication system is to be loaded from the bottom and not through the top. That's why we have the protective guard on it. Behind that is our automatic air counterbalance oiler and that's lubricating the air counterbalance cylinder on the top of the press, which equalizes the upper die weight depending upon the weight of the die that you have. Coming around to the back of the press, on the machine for the show, we've left the uh, semi-open type guarding so people can see behind the guard and what's inside. Uh, you've got a pneumatic storage tank for your air counterbalance cylinders a pneumatic storage tank for your clutch brake, OMPI clutch and brake, uh, dual Ross DM series base mounted uh, safety valve for activating the clutch and brake, Siemens main motor, and a flywheel brake for quick engagement and stopping of the flywheel to prevent operators from being in the pinch point area with the slide moving. You'll notice on the back rear doors here, you've got a magnetic interlock switch. And when the doors are open, you're gonna see four things happen. Door open, interlock switch, light will go out, brake will go on, flywheel brake will go on, and motor will stop. So with that, I will demonstrate. Flywheel comes to a stop, flywheel brake is on, motor's off. Here in the back of the press, you've got our hydraulic overload tank and pump system. And the importance is when that's full, it's to be filled to the halfway point on the sight gauge. And that allows, you don't want to overfill the overload system because when an overload occurs, we need the top half of the tank available to receive the oil coming back from the ball area. And on the two point gap, your air, air control system is located inside of the guard. You've got regulators for the pressure gauges. They're all SMC and all the gauges are liquid filled. Top is for hydraulic overload pressure, not to be adjusted, marked in red. Next one down is your air counterbalance pressure, which you use to adjust for your upper die weight on the slide and below that is your clutch brake pressure. And in applications with a two-point wide bed gap frame, they can be used for feeding from front to back for wide sheet material or coil, and in that case, the guards would be modified or removed. Coming around to the other side of the press, 
main electrical panel. Above that is the Taco VFD drive, which is a variable frequency drive to give you a range. On this particular press, I believe it's uh, 40 to 80 strokes per minute. Below that, you've got a dual voltage transformer, which allows the press to come in and be wired for either 240 or 480 volts. Next to that, we have a die block, which is an adjustable height die block to be used to put it between the slide and the ram during die change or maintenance. And when that die block interlock chain is pulled out, it also activates the motor stop flywheel brake to prevent any motion of the slide. Uh, looking inside the panel, so this is the main electrical panel as we discussed. Um, high voltage is all on the top. Communications, dual PLCs is in the center. And then your safety, safety relays and relays for accessories are on the lower section and terminal strips with proper wiring numbers on the bottom. So we go back to the front of the press, power it on. I press boot up screen comes up. First of all, you get a safety suggestion that you've read the manual. You hit I agree. The LMC2, which is a solid state safety relay, comes on. You press the control reset on the T-stand. Motor start. You'll see that the motor speed is gradually coming up. The iPress has a lot of cool features. This is the main run screen. And the OK monitor in the upper left is telling you that you have no faults present and you're ready to operate. You have a digital stroke position indicator. Motor direction is in forward. Angle is at three degrees. Strokes per minute is about 40 right now. And the mode of operation is an inch. In the upper right, you've got a section here for your batch counter, which you can set the desired amount of parts you want to run before the press stops. And you can also reset it here. And in the lower right section is a brake stopping time in milliseconds, so you can monitor brake wear over the course of it. We're gonna demonstrate the hydraulic overload now. So we're gonna inch it to the bottom. And if you ever had a stuck die condition where you were doing setup of the press, we brought our overload control release key here. So when I turn that, you're gonna get an overload fault on the screen. The pressure underneath the two ball seats is going to give you about a half an inch of clearance. You go to the inch mode, reset, inch, key back to on, pump pumps back up, control reset, and you're ready to go back in operation again. So this is our line of two-point gap frame presses. They come in 121, 176, 220, 275, and 300 ton. And gradually, as you go up in tonnage, the bed sides get larger. Thanks for checking us out. Next video, we're gonna show you the HCP series single point straight side.